Hello, Battletech enthusiasts. I'm here to talk about how to spot mechs that are either fake or counterfeit, or how to spot different variants of different mechs based on their uh, what they look like, um, or at least by showing a couple examples of various mechs that um, I have collected over a long time. Some of these I know are good and real mechs from uh, Ralpartha or wherever else. Um, some of these I know are fake mechs um, because I know that the guy who was selling the mechs well, ended up basically um, on eBay and ended up getting his account disabled for selling counterfeit mechs. And um, I, have, I have some of those mechs and they're definitely much lower grade than the real mechs and you can sort of spot them if once you've once you've seen some of them you can spot them here i've started by taking a look at two stalkers now which one is real which one is fake can you tell they're actually both real um, and they're both on real bases these are both uh, both old mechs but the right one i've done a really good paint job on left one wasn't Okay, here's two dragons. What's the difference between these two dragons? So the right one is on a plastic base. It's also a plastic mech. The left one is a metal mech, and it's on a counterfeit base. And the mech itself is counterfeit too. And you can kind of see how that the base is kind of, this is like a real base. You can see that it looks different. This is the counterfeit base. Um, you can see that it's like a recast out of some cheap alloy. Um, and then the, and often a counterfeit mech will be painted gray and the seller will claim it's quote unquote primed and ready to go or something like that. But really it's just a counterfeit mech and the reason it's painted. Here's three, um, let's cover up the, the low quality. Here's three catapults. Can you tell them apart? So this one is a real catapult on a real base. This one is also a real catapult on a real base. It's been just kind of glued together slightly differently. And this last one is a plastic catapult, but it's actually a legit Battletech product. It's one of those uh, uh, those Alpha Strike type boxes or whatever, whatever those uh, those strike boxes. Except I cut the plastic base off and glued it off onto another plastic base. These two Battle Masters, can you tell them apart? Um, they are both Battle Masters. It turns out they are both good old legit Battle Masters just a slightly different sculpt. Um, and they're both on legit uh, old bases, vintage bases. I think they're both lead. Okay, here are two uh, Phoenix Hawks. The Garwalk version, it's on a counterfeit base. It's a counterfeit mech. And, surprise, surprise, the other one is also counterfeit, as you'll see here. It's on another counterfeit base. Notice how that base, it looks like it's one, it's a, it's like a recast of one of those Relidium, those relative 1990s era bases. This one is a, um, a longbow. It's on a, it's on a legit vintage base. It's actually a, a legit vintage mech. It's missing its top head often. Uh, here's another, here's a urban mech. This urban mech is counterfeit. See how it's got a strange base like that? instead of a vintage base. Here's some, here's some riflemen. Can you tell the difference? These are actually both vintage riflemen with vintage bases. However, the rifleman on the right has recast arms. And that was because I had lost the arms. And once I realized the guy on eBay was selling recasts, I asked him, hey, do you happen to have any rifleman arms around? And he mysteriously produced some rifleman arms, i.e. he probably just cast them or had a bunch of them laying around. Um, so I did pick up those, knowing that they were recasts, I picked them up and put them on because my rifleman had lost his arms many years ago. Now, so it was kind of like a mech lube, I consider it more like a mech lube repair job than counterfeit. These are both plastic, they're on plastic bases, I put them on those plastic bases myself, so I know they're, I'm, and they were Basically, I cut off the, those uh, hex-shaped plastic um, 
bases that they came with and those those strike boxes. Okay, these awesomes. They have some of these awesomes are have various features. Can you tell which ones real, which ones are fake? The yellow camo is fake. The uh, metal awesomes are all the two red awesomes are metal, and the Steiner blue and white awesome is plastic, but it's a legit Battletech product. However, the base, I have chopped the base. I've noticed how this uh, yellow, the uh, yellow back even has a recast base. This actually is a real vintage base, but it's been painted black on the bottom. And this one is actually on a fake plastic base, but it's a real mech on a fake plastic base. This one is a real plastic mech on a real, on a, just a third party plastic base. Um, that's one of those, those, um, that comes in those kits where you buy four plastic mechs in a box. It's one of those. This, uh, this blue and white Steiner Awesome is one of those. I've just painted it, um, to make it fit my Steiner collection. Now, let's, uh, take a look at some other vintage mechs. Now, these. Let's take a look at these two wasps. One of these two wasps is a fake, one of these is real. Can you tell the difference? This one is on a third party base, but it's a real mech. The Steiner Awesome, Steiner Wasp is real. This one is on a recast base, and it's a recast mech. As you can tell sometimes by having all these heavy, thick antennas that are kind of excessive and sticking out of the mech, that's sometimes a sign of a fake mech. Now here's two Warhammers. The Warhammer on the right is actually a legit Warhammer on an, it's, a, it's actually a uh, Battle Droids Warhammer. Uh, however, it's on a fake base, on, a, on like a recast plastic base. Um, I put it on there so I know where it came from and why. This Warhammer, however, is on the vintage base and it's like a vintage, uh, it's like a second edition style. When the second edition box came out, it was that style of metal mechs were available. Now let's look at these uh, Marauders. The left one is obviously a Marauder 2, but let's ignore that for now. The right one is a Marauder, but it's actually a Battle Droids Marauder. You can see it even has like a really super vintage base as part of its feet with, the ov with an oval, a different oval shape. The uh, Marauder 2, um, is just on a regular vintage base. Um, nothing special about it except it's like missing a wing. This Marauder has a bit of a story to it where I had to strip off some old paint and repaint it and whatnot. Okay, here's two fire starters. This one is on a plastic base. This one is also on a plastic base. One of them, the one on the right is actually a metal fire starter, and the one on the left is a plastic fire starter. But they are, um, they are both legit Battletech products, it's just the one on the left is plastic. Um, the one on the right is metal, and they're both on third party bases. The plastic one came in one of those boxes where the, you get four mechs in a box, and I physically cut off that hex bottom plastic, partial hex plastic thing and I uh, reattached it to a different base that I liked better. So anyway, that's your quick review, a review of a variety of mechs where you had to identify the fake mech from the real mech. So hopefully you will now recognize some forms of mechs, and perhaps you will uh, avoid buying bad mechs. One way to spot a bad mech on eBay is that you will you may get something for example like saying hey, here's this mech it's all primed and you'll see that it's like a really heavy priming job like it's like all you can't see any of the base metal behind it you're not supposed to prime like that because it washes off detail uh, if you and also you're not supposed to prime if you're not going to paint it you don't go around priming a mech and then selling it. That doesn't make any sense because the person who's doing the painting will want to prime based on how they're gonna paint. Like the colors that you paint with are impacted by the priming. 
So you're not doing someone a favor by somehow priming a mech and then saying, hey, it's ready to go. The reason you, the only reason to do that is if you either don't know what you're doing or you're trying to hide a fraudulent uh, recast and you're trying to pass it off as a real mech. If you're gonna sell a recast, at least blatantly tell people that it's a recast and sell it as a recast and don't go around pretending it's a legit mech and then prime it up. Um, another way you can tell that you're likely to, uh, that the mech that you're trying to buy is probably fake is um, if they're offering to paint it for you and it's already pre-primed or it has like extra antennas and things sticking out of it where you don't, and, and the antennas tend to be relatively thick, kind of like on that wasp that you can still see uh, that you saw earlier. Um, so that's that's kind of a sign of a, uh, th those are the various red, war red alert warnings that something is odd with that particular mech. So anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed this and uh, good luck with your purchases of mechs online. If you enjoyed this video, please go hit the subscribe button at the, uh, and that way I'll be motivated to make even more videos.